The Fallout 76 beta is live this weekend on Xbox and soon to be released on all platforms next week. So I thought I would share a few tips I've learned for those of you who might be playing the game coming up for the first time. In this video, I'll be explaining the new system of government supply drops and how you can use them to benefit your character and get free and easy loot. So to start a supply drop in Fallout 76, you'll first need to find what's called a US government supply requisition. It's basically a data tape that feeds into the automated drop system. And in the world of Fallout 76, no living government has survived, but the automated systems created by that government still remain. And that's how we get these free drops basically in the game. As far as getting the requisition from what I can tell, it seems to be kind of random. So just as a rule of thumb in this game, make sure you're looting everything. Um, in my handful of playthroughs, I've gotten one requisition very close to the start of the game, right near the first overseer's location. And I also got one in just a random shack a little bit further out in the world. So just make sure you explore and loot everything. Picking up the requisition will put a new location on your map for a radio tower, and this is where you'll need to take that tape. What you'll see here is usually some types of robot guards, maybe a high level Protectron or a Mr. Handy. You can try to sneak around them like I did, but in most cases they'll see what you're up to and try attacking you anyways. You can decide to fight back or just run, um, but make sure you insert that data tape first to progress the quest. After you've done all the hard work, you should get a new area location showing up on your map and that's where the supplies will drop and now it's just a waiting game so it seemed like there was maybe a 5 to 10 minute delay between delivering the tape and actually seeing the drop happen so just be patient and eventually that drone will land with your loot as you can see there's a funny little bug that actually happens here and I've noticed it with every drone in the game whenever they land they seem to have trouble locating their landing position and they cycle through a bunch of animations but don't worry, the drop happens uh, either way. And lastly, because Fallout 76 is now multiplayer, you might be wondering whether other players can steal your drop, and the answer is no. Each player seems to get their own random loot table from that supply drop, so there's no stealing involved. Although this guy did try to whack me with a shovel, so hopefully he sees this video and figures it out. Well, that's going to wrap things up for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something too. If you're interested in more Fallout 76 content, please let me know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And it's free, so why the heck not? Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace.